Welcome to SystemControlTech.com. I wanted to take a few minutes to further explain the basic function of a reheat hot water system, uh, a hot water reheat system, I should say. There are basically just a few elements that is involved in this type of a system for HVAC temperature control. In a system such as this, there's generally a large air handler that serves multiple zones. The air handler itself will discharge a cooler air temperature depending on the necessary temperature to cool the spaces. And once an individual space is supplied with air, the VAV system, the reheat system, will heat that air up to appropriate levels in order to warm up the space. Your typical air handler set point in the warmer parts of summer can uh, earn an average for potentially around 55 degrees. That is usually fairly adequate to cool most of the spaces. However, if some spaces do reach a cooler than set point level, the reheat system will warm that air back up and discharge the warmer air into the space. It is much more energy efficient and cost efficient to reheat the air as it comes into the space as it would be to cool air coming into a space. The basic elements, basic components of a system such as this is the reheat coil where the air is blown across this system and where through the control valve hot water is supplied to the coil to reheat the air. The hot water is supplied either by a boiler system, a steam system, or uh, some other type of uh, hot water system. In a lot of the newer buildings, a lot of these controls are more electronic. Some of the older ones are uh, pneumatic. However, a lot of your newer buildings, newer installations, as well as renovations, you will see electronic controls. This is a small graphic showing a uh, VAV with an integrated damper actuator. This particular unit will measure the airflow coming through the ductwork, calculate what the airflow needs to be based on the programming of the device, which is usually set up by engineering as far as the amount of airflow into a space to adequately heat or cool. If the temperature drops below the set point of the unit, the valve will open allowing hot water flow into the coil which then will reheat the air and blow it into the space warming the space up once the space reaches adequate set point the valve will close down cutting off the water flow to this space uh, to this coil and it will basically it will find a point in most of the newer VAVs especially where there may be just a slight f amount of flow coming into the system just to maintain the temperature space temperature one thing you will notice when airflow is uh, adequate in the room whenever it is at set point that there will it will usually go to a minimum value a minimum flow set point uh, generally when you are trying to cool a space you will have more airflow into the space through the VAV opening the dampers allow, allowing more flow when the space calls for heating the VMA actuator will generally close down, slow down the airflow, and will allow the air to pick up some of the heat from the coil. If the coil is not adequately sized for the space, 
one thing that can happen is that you will lose effective heating if you open the airflow up to a very high level which is generally not done if everything is engineered and sized correctly for the space you can actually drop the discharge temperature to where you lose your effective heating one little tip that will be very helpful to you in the winter time especially when your system is under the most load for heating is to increase the discharge temperature of your air handler to a point where you still maintain effective cooling however you help to unload the individual zone controller and give it just a little bit of a boost as far as uh, assisting it in heating by raising the discharge temperature from say 55 degrees to 62 degrees in a cold day you can still allow if any of the spaces get warm you still have adequate cool enough air to cool those spaces however by raising that discharge temp from your air handler it will help to increase the temperatures in your space a little more rapidly anyways I hope that it helps give you an understanding a little better understanding of how a hot water reheat system works with a VMA electronic control actuator if you would like to find more on these topics visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com thank you for your time I'll <laughs> <laughs>